My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed, and welcome to episode number four of Eltharian's Conquest of the Badlands, or rather Eltharian's rapid and hasty defense of the Badlands, because we are being attacked by Wurzag at Nordivrest. Now, unfortunately and annoyingly, because we were besieged in the middle of the turn, the archers did not train, but... Because we had the great foresight to build that mine building when we had the money, we've got a sun dragon in our armies and four extra archers coming from our garrison. So I think there's a chance. If we can kill Wurzag somehow, we might stand a chance. It is all we have to hope for and all we have. Oh dear. We need to win, basically. I mean, we don't need to win. As I said at the end of the last one, we can lose this area, focus on Ulth 1, and come back. But then we'll be some turns in. Um, whereas we want to try and keep the momentum down here going, don't we? And if we can kill Wurzag here, the momentum will firmly be in our favour. Will firmly be with us. Our reinforcements are coming in over there. We are attacking them, though, so unless they move at us, we get the benefit of marching out first. But given how quick combat is in in um, Warhammer, I have never got the battle timer anywhere near the 60 minutes. Oh, no, Callie's awake. Um, so we don't have to worry about the timer going or anything like that. Um, so we just need to wait for our reinforcements to get in so that we've got one large army in one place. Glorious. So we don't have an Arcane Phoenix, but we've got arguably something better. Although I suppose there's argument to say um, it may or may not be better. Ah, they are coming for us because they they don't want to wait. You guys move on to that side. Dragon. Wurzag is staying at the back, I expect. Yes. Archers, just just bring down anything and everything. Spearmen, as you say. Weapons ready. Move without fail. By your command. If the spears in slightly better positions. Oh, are you ranged cap. There you are. It shall be done. For Take those out. Loyal. Yeah, keep killing the archers. Keep killing the archers. Oh, can you go and hit them? Oh, Callie! Get down. Come on, reinforcements. I'm walking on the cable. Go outside. Yes, the sun dragon has hit the pumpling, the snotling pump wagons. The pumpling snot wagons. The archers that are coming in, move yourselves over to the side. The general... Get in over there. She's playing with the cables. Oh, she's such a nuisance. Right, now that's taken care of. Loyal for duty. Oh, just come on, get in the place. We don't need all of you to go in. Right, let's try and get the breath, the breath of the dragon involved. Wurzak is sitting over there in the open. You guys can shoot them, definitely. No, don't do it there, don't do it there, don't do it there. Poor decision, poor decision. Go up the sides, go up the sides. Do it there. Hit them now, hit them now! There's Eltharian. Eltharian, you grim bugger. Wurzak is taking a beating. You guys are moving over. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Oh, don't rout! You're absolutely crucial to the plan! Now we've definitely got him, surely. Yes! Yes! Pull the archers slightly back. With Wurzak gone, surely, 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 surely the morale's not going to okay, not going to last now. Oh, 
dragon. I need you to actually attack the enemy, not just sort of limply land on them. There's an archer battalion over there that's still giving us a bit of grief. You're in a perfect position to hit them. You're in a perfect position to hit them. I don't want to tempt fate. I do not want to tempt fate. But things go well. When you have number parity with the orcs and you're so much more elite than they are, you can only work in your favour, surely. There's archers over there that are giving us grief. The left hand flank is down. We caught Wurzag, didn't we? So not only are we going to smash his armies. Yes, it's looking that way. It is looking that way. <laughs> The Sun Dragon. We are, we are, we are powerful with the Sun Dragon. The might of Spearman. Spearman. Oh, they've worked again. Berserker Rage. Right, we've got another Orc Battalion over here that does need dropping. Particularly those Snotlings. There's a whole Archer army over there that barely has lost a single man. Get the dragon in the air. Oh, we were too late on the stop list, but it's running now. No, I think this is ours. Come on, you... Flap those wings! Flap them! Oh, there's a goblin big boss still alive. Archers over there are doing alright. Hit them. That army can move around the side. Oh, perfect. In we go, in we go, in we go, in we go, in we go. The boss is running. It's over! It is over! Oh, yes. I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. Everyone, just kill something. Let's see if we can get the dragon to go out after that. I just want to kill as many of these as we can. No, he's never going to get there in time. Just get some of those savage orcs. Nice. That'll do you. Pyrrhic victory, I couldn't care less. Victory, it remains. And an absolutely astounding one. And the golden sword today, which I haven't given out yet, but because uh, most units tend to do a relatively nice amount of damage across the board. But a 79 kills the top spot in our army anyway. Was an archer. Almost all of the archers got at least 70 kills. They have two units that took down over 100. Th four units that took down over 100. Dear, dear, orcs. Orcs, man. Let them build our defense. We shall replenish. Wurzak has been captured. Leaving Ratgash. The orc begins to lead the remaining army. We won't be going out to meet them because we're retraining. And because we don't want to. <laughs> oh no, it is the Skaven that are killing the Orcs because their corruption is coming. Yes. Um, we definitely don't have enough to finish those Orcs off, I don't think. The Warden of Tor Ivres. But if we train those four more units. I don't know. I mean, we can always gamble, can't we? Let's see what it says. So if we could kill them, that would be the best. Rathug one finger, but you don't appear to be the the leader of the army. Hmm, I'm not sure we should fight that. But then we don't want them to get away. No, they've got high XP. What happens if we? Oh, I'm so tempted to order resolve because it's 50/50. No, we're going to go for it. We're going to kill them all. We will send them back to the coasts with their tails firmly in our prison. <laughs> they don't have tails in our prison. Um, we shall send them back to the coasts, having lopped off their heads is really what we're trying to achieve with the, uh, with the bad talk there. All right, let's keep the archers out. We don't have very many units. We are relying on our archers to do the, uh, the, the killing. Because they don't have very many troops per battalion. Apart from that Savage Orc Archer Boys battalion, which has a full retinue. 
where they've gotten that from. You guys get right behind. And likewise. I'd really like everyone to target something different. I think we've bitten off more than we can chew here. I think this was a bad idea. What's your range on that? 300 meters, that's good. But I mean, their numbers are so few that they will go down really, really quickly. We need those big ones taken out. And then if you guys could target those archers. And if you target those archers as well, actually. And both of you take those big ones. You watch out for those goblin archers or they'll cut us off around the sides. What is that running? Oh, he's on a little wall. Remember that elves have the martial prowess ability, which means that actually this is a very, very bad decision because we are strongest when our army has over 50% health. And when it drops below that, we take massive losses. Or well, we don't fight as well. Let's pull those archers out. Again, though, we do have number parity, but that wagon's going to do a lot of damage to us, isn't it? They're running. The general's almost running away. If you could get just a one set of shots off on the general. That might take him down. Yes! Yes! If you can cast your power. Oh, they're breaking in the middle. Take them. But keep the archers back. He says, having already just abandoned a set of archers to the enemy. They've got more numbers than us. They have got more numbers than us. How are they so keen to fight after their general has died? It's supposed to last for a long time, that diva. Not today, apparently. Now our numbers are going down quicker than theirs. I think we are going to lose. Yeah, but now we've got units routing. Eltharian's probably going to die again. Use your scroll. Acknowledged. Yeah, they're routing us. It's basically just Eltharian left. And there's nothing he's gonna do. Really? So, we'll have to concede. Decisive defeat, apparently. Terrible idea to have attacked. We've lost our own, now, superior units. Because of that attack. Orcs, man. Jesus. They used to be so weak, so pathetic. And here they stand, bastions of warriors' might. Who would have seen that coming? I have failed my home. Probably all of you. But uh, that's alright. Prince Elthari. We've got the money. We can rebuild. Oh, we spawn our spearmen with rank six. So no, they didn't gain any. We just got to rebuild the army. Which we'll be easily able to do. They won't be attacking us with the garrison in Noribres. So that's alright. We, we, we've learnt our lesson. Do not underestimate the orcs. But that's all we needed to learn. Uh, up in Trace. We're not doing anything, are we? Because we've already taken Torakare. We're hoping someone else might take Toranlet. Because we don't really want to have to bother with that. And then ideally we want to take these people down. Because they're just hating us for no reason. Ah, Irtane is growing in power. Of your actions. I don't have any money to do I? Oh, and a little bit, but it won't change anything. They won't want to. As you say. Oh, what did they just do? What did I just do? Oh, I was not paying attention. Did I just join you in war against Illyrian, or was I already at war against Illyrian? What did I just do? Give me the information. Oh, I have no idea. I have literally no idea what that was. <laughs> Shouldn't click so quickly. Should not click so quickly. If it was at war with Illyrian, though, 
I'm sure I wasn't at war with Illyrian, was I? So that's definitely what it was. But they don't have anything left, so that doesn't matter at all. But it was going to war with Illyrian, wasn't it? I do note seeing this that come through quickly. Um, now, Eodane, I just granted your, your boon. Champion of the Ever Queen. Let's try again. Oh, no, there we are. No. No. They're not about it. Despite my readily accepting <laughs> the code of war. We really need to get um, Safari on side. We want to confederate with them. Oh, and the Prophet. I've got the Prophet in the jail and I've not done anything with him. We need to sort him out. We need to also start turning in Eltharia now into a military commander. Oh, you did not come back for more. We've got a Sun Dragon. All right, okay, we'll beat you again. We must avenge the fall. That would be really annoying if after that successful victory and killing Wurzag, I'm now going to lose because I foolishly rushed out. My reinforcements are no way coming in over there. That is miles away. I shall. It's quite handy though, really. Why are they coming in from so far away? Spearmen. It shall be done. Without fail. Battle calls. Move yourselves forward. Archers. Got a nice amount of archers, but what really is gonna define this battle is the dragon. It's moving off. We'll show him. We'll give them what for. They've got a pathetic up. Let's send the dragon in now. There's nothing up there that can really stop a dragon. Let's get him involved nice and early. Yes, right up the middle. Then go and shut down some of these archers. As our force maneuvers into position below. Oh, and I forgot the general. We've got the general as well, haven't we? Why did you land n away from them? Why didn't you land on them? What are you doing? You're a dragon for crying out loud. You're literally just standing there doing nothing. Did someone trap you? No, you're free. Look, you're walking. Ugh, why did you just do that? Like, land on them. I why am I having to teach a dragon how to attack enemy units? Pull the archers out. Let's not make the same mistake of getting them too close. Without question. The Grim Warden rises. The dragon has the enemy pinned down. They're going to deal with that snotling. Yeah, no, this is as expected. Will be a simple victory. Why are you withdrawing? Stand your ground. And Altharian, just hit it. Hit it with your sword, man. The sun dragon is routing. I told you to get out of there. What are you doing? How is a sun dragon being brought down by some pathetic orc archers? And why, more to the point, is the sun dragon, did the sun dragon not get the hell out of there? But I bloody well told him to. This is why you have to pay attention way more than I do. Come on, you've got like no health. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. I'm assuming that he cast some sort of power on us, didn't he? The enemy general. Just give me a breath attack and then you can die. Nice. As you say. To the fray! Warden of Alqua. Can you heal yourself? Other than the with the potion. But can you do that on yourself? Oh yes, you totally can. Oh, glorious. Keep that up. Right, you guys, there's some orcs up there that are shooting at us. I think what the real message here is, is don't underestimate orc archers. Not just underestimate orcs in general, but their archers seem to be doing way more damage than I ever expected they would. Spearmen. 
Uh, I mean, we, we, we've won. It's just a matter of time now, but... Uh, it just depends where their goblin lead is going. Oh, if they've broken and they're routing, just let them go. Just let them go. Kill as many as our archers can whilst they're in range, but otherwise... Go on, dragon. Oh, you just routed again. One. <laughs> but they were running away. <laughs> oh. Dragons don't like fighting against orc archers. Apparently. Who knew? Oh, now that I've shut Callie out, this room is like a sauna. <laughs> but it's not that she meows. It's that she tries to bite the cables and she tries to stand on my monitors to get up to the shelves above them. And it's just very frustrating. Their only worth is service. This time, they are properly dead. Only their lord remains. A lord. That's a that's an over... That's a doing him more of a service than, than one should. A greater title than he is worth calling. We get the Fang Sword of Eltharion. Which is nice. Oh, enemy siege holdout time is dropped by four. Win three battles against the Greenskins. That's brilliant. Yes, we'll do that. And we finally get some regiments of renown, regiments of renown. But what we definitely do want to do, I think, is um, prepare over here to declare war on Cathok. Are they called Cathok? Kothic. Get the names mixed up. We've got too many spearmen to archer ratio really here, haven't we? You could take our first. No, why would I do that? We don't want them wasted up here. Just give me another archer. Wait a turn, and then... No, don't do it there. Move to the edge. Give me another archer. And then we will go for Kothic. Kothic! What's the... Oh, no, the ratio is 50-50, which means you've got an army somewhere else. Because this is not all you've got. Absolutely no way. But if we move quickly and strike abruptly, we should be able to... Uh, Oh, no, build me that one, because I think that might be why we can't see other people. I think we should see other people. Eltharion the Grim has arrived at rank 10, which normally unlocks your unique... No, he gets it at 12. Of course he does. Um, we'll get that third quartermaster. We do definitely want Nora Rest to gain something. I don't know what. The Warden of Tor but we're not letting him get away. And we okay, can definitely beat him. So. Coward. I probably should have gone in and caught him, but we've got Wurzag to talk about first, haven't we? Interrogation chamber is over here, I assume. Ruined interrogation chamber enables the ability to interrogate. We don't have any supplies anyway. If we do that, we get three supplies. Oh, it's the same as before, isn't it? We don't really want him going back. Um... Oh, you only gain four influence on the next turn. So it's 5% of the character's faction, character's faction's treasury. Ah, there should be another apostrophe in that. Character's faction's treasury. It's the treasury belonging to the faction. Um, and we get line of sight. I'm not going to do that one. I think I'm going to go for execute. Mercy is mere vanity. Which isn't all. Um, we could have just killed him out there. We didn't have to take him all the way back just to kill him, did we? Only service. Oh, look at this guy. Just casually raiding the undead. My life for Tor Ivres. Um, let's get the healing up, and then, with one point in the healing, now we will turn and make him into a military powerhouse. Master of magic. Where do we think Kothic sent its army? That's the real question. Ah, it's over there. It's attacking Tor Anlech. Oh, that's handy. Yay, we gained influence. Seemed to be for any real reason that we gained it. Magic right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to gamble. Kothic, you have yeah. disgraced me one too many times. And, you may approach and make your request. everything is to end... Oh no, I mean, sorry, um, 
I want to cancel the non-aggression pact. Um, no allies have chosen to become involved in this dispute. Did my relations just drop very low? Yes, because I attacked before the non-aggression pact had time to really kick tower. in. Fury of the winds. There it is. That's a pathetic army. Why does that think that it's 50-50? They will suffer the might. They will die here. And there is no doubt about that. Our archers will easily deal with Kothic's reinforcing force. And then this realm will be ours. But unfortunately we have got very low relations now. Which means it will be really hard to get trade. To get anything at all. Oh look, it's that really horrible battle map, but we're on the other side of it. How handy. Now the reinforcements obviously are the main threat, and they're all coming in down there. And... The actual army is a single person. That we're not worried about really at all. But I don't want to be fighting in the trees if we can help it. But we can't help it, so we're fighting in the trees. At least that gives our flanks secure. Setting forth. Lawmaster of Hoeth, you go down there. Failure is impossible. Everybody move forward. Most of our army is relatively hidden in the trees at the moment. I don't actually know where their one lord is unless she started herself down there. But yes, perfect. The Lawmaster's moving into position. He'll stop that cavalry. Although actually, we can stop that cavalry. By just pulling out of position Attack! and charging into it. The Lawmaster will get to you and he'll assist in a second. Please drop those white lions. This is about the only thing in the army that we actually need to worry about. And then it's just archers. No, don't worry about shooting hair, actually. That was a silly idea. And the white lions are in now. So move yourself slightly further forward. Around. Their archers are all grouped together in a nice big bunch. Oh, they're broken. Oh, no, that's way too far away. That's way too far away. That's never going to come off. Oh, and then I'm double casting it, aren't I? Yeah, got to do it on them, then. It's the generals, but then the archers. We've got the enemy. Oh, hit those white lions. Ah, oh, you guys, look, that's way too good. Shoot them in the back. And spearmen go and assist. The archers are the main threat now. Of course, they've also got their own archmage. We have got to watch out for her. But just keep shooting at the enemy as they group up into this large blob, which is helping us fantastically. Don't worry about shooting those anymore. We'll go back to shooting those. You guys are dealing with that noble, but it'll take some time. Oh, these white lions have managed to beat her spear unit. They've routed. That was rubbish. Can get that archmage tied up. We're not doing well against the noble at all, are we? There we are. The white lines are finally going down. The spears have caught the enemy archmage. Oh, bugger. Turn and fire! Turn and fire! Turn and fire! Shaken, damage sustained, the numbers are dropping. They've caught an archer unit, but you've all got them. But you guys finish them off. Don't let them come back. Archers, we now need to prepare and deal with a noble. As you say. 
There's two nobles to deal with, but for now, I'll just take on these, this first one. I'll get the Archmage out of the way. Don't worry about the white lines anymore, there's only 12. Right, and then run the spears out. Run the spears away, just run the spears away. Got some arcing shots annoyingly. Yes! <laughs> Flee, you fool! He's ours. Oh, victory, in fact, is ours. Well, capture what we can. Yeah, we're never gonna get her. I don't know why we're even trying. Call it a day. A successful battle and it thought it was going to be close and it even called it close that wasn't close that was an annihilation Cadril managed to survive annoyingly but Halithia has fallen he has only got 164 guys made it out and Sarah only had one person out of the 181 she deployed death will come to Gothic whilst their army attacks to Oranlek their cities will fall from beneath their feet we got water supplies for that Limitless talent. It's just a shame that unfortunately now everyone distrusts us and our relations with almost everyone will now fall. Poef's disciple. They cannot uh, do I want to do that? No, I don't really want to do that, magic. do I? I want to attack magic in purest form. They that will one. Toward I power. bring Azurian's fire. Wrath of the heavens. I can't attack again, but... Them. Now we can get them on the next turn. And we're going to want to use some of that intrigue to make people like us, because people will not like us. Uh, Nagareth, I'd very much like you to like me. And I'd really quite like Eotain, but Eotain's already increasing. But that's all we really want. I'm not to bother about Avalon. Trace is dying, Kothic is dying, Illyrian's dying, Kalidor's dying. Yeah, so Avalon. Oh, and Safari. Safari, we want you on board. I really want to confederate with Safari first, and then ideally Aeotain, and then we'll just go from there. I'm not too concerned about Avalon. Oh, we just gained an experience point. Quartermaster, finally! Cavill's gone up again. Oh, you can damage walls. I have noticed that. Give your Earthblood a boost. High Elden Archmage. It's irritating. The sacking value of that is 10,000. That's ridiculous. Ah, yes, we'll upgrade Agrumadal, and we can upgrade that, so we might as well. Have you got enough to train more forces? Take another spear unit, and then take some more archers, and then we'll mostly just fill you out with archers. Very successful. we just got to go back and get Nortralinia, and then we can head back into Broken Axe territory. Ah, Kothic got Toranlek. Fine. So they won't be defeated, but their army's all the way over there, so we don't have to worry about it. They're going to lose their heartlands. Trace is about to rebel, no glory. which isn't ideal. Only Absolutely nothing we can do about that. Unlikely. Pure magic. Oh, we oh, have what? to sit here for a turn just to get a battering Azurian, ram. Take them. The wind... Which is going to give that army just enough time to train some forces. But I'd rather take that we down first. And then we'll have to nip back over here once the time, once we've done that. And we also have to hope that in all that time, they this stay in Tor Oh, they've also got the Phoenix Gates. And Avalon is just standing by, just watching them. We can get the influence, which will give us 10 influence over the time. Juice conduction is public order. Too concerned. We could get the Vol. That's about it, really. I'm not interested in any of those. And we still can't trade with a soul. Kimri's getting annihilated. <gasps> yes! Who is this a mysterious benefactor who comes? The Knights of Origo. Have we really not discovered you? I can see you. Why can't I... Get to you. Oh no. 
and your Thou southern realm. Riches and strength in equal measure. Oh, but you're at war with Kemri, and I'm kind of allied to Kemri, so that would suggest that we should perhaps go to war. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Maybe not just yet, though. Um, let's get the renowned versions of both of those, get them into his army nice and early doors. And then I'll be taking some more archers, please. Perfect. So we've got a nip up to Nord. Oh, see, I really want that settlement to the west then. But if the southern realms have managed to sail over and take it, that means that they are sailing around. So the coastlands will not be safe. Oh, I knew you'd come back. I bloody knew you'd come back. The settlement garrison has gone from nothing to a full army in a single turn, despite being besieged, which I call bull crappery. And then Vesper's knocked over as well, hasn't she? So we've got to once again kill you all. They will suffer the but we will. I mean, we, we will kill you all. But we've got to do it again because of the stupid siege ram. How is the garrison able to replenish when the city is under siege? What's the point of sieging it if they can just replenish anyway? It's absolutely ridiculous. They've got two nobles out of nowhere. Where were they in the first battle? Just chilling with some wine, watching from the walls. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ri goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> But we're going to pull down here as far away from their reinforcements as possible. Divide and conquer. Something I should be relatively familiar with now. But I'm obviously very not. Ah, they've pulled their entire army up there, haven't they? Just so that they come at us with a unified front. Alright. Ah, no, there they are. Ah, oh, glorious. Glory be. They have foolishly split their force. Or are they? Or are they running away? No, they're running away. They are merging into a single army. Well, let's put the archers out first, actually, and then pull the archers back. What's that coming forward? Lothan Sea Guard. They changed their tune. Right, archers are in position. You can start firing at will. Particularly on those silver helms. Yes, let's take the cavalry out nice and early. Give them, give them another volley. Drop them. Their numbers dwindle. Their numbers fall. They're... How can you have zero health but still have units alive? It makes no sense to me. Right, next. Let's slow this one down because we really need to win this. Take out the white lions of Trace, please. You three on the edge here. And hit those Lothan Sea Guard. Ah, oh, their shadow warriors have come. No, now we want the White Lions down. Bring them down, bring them down, bring them down. And there's Vesper's army behind. Full strength army that she has. Right, that'll do, yep. Yeah. Pull the archers back. They get stuck on the spearmen, which never helps. But it's pulled the enemy. into a position they don't really want to be in. And now, give them fury! They're interested in you, Lawmaster. You fellows are not yet currently involved, so let's get you involved. Similarly, you guys over here. I don't know, I've just clicked shift. You can just, you can just do it and just get involved. You guys go for them. Archers hit those Lothan Sea Guard. New archers, look at that large gathering of archers over there. Fire everything we have. Loose. Look, they're even standing in a giant ball of death, making it ten times easier to kill them all. Very, very helpful. I shall extend my thanks to Kothic after we've wiped them from the face of Alt One. And then I shall be sure to congratulate them on their folly. Give them a volley. No, you didn't do it, did you? Oh, he is going to do it. 
You just killed our own troops. At least target the damnable enemy. The enemy archers flee before us. As expected. But there's Lothan Sea Guard that we haven't been able to hit yet. You archers, let's get you around the back and try to start shooting the enemy. And we'll get the spearmen over to do that too. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, we've got the 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 problem. The ever present problem in Warhammer games. How do you kill lords? And nobles. Fire everything you've got. He's definitely captured. Not that we can. We've got the prison full, haven't we? But there we are. That's him down. Right, you go for those Lothan. You two in the middle. The Shadow Warriors. You two on the end. Yeah, kill those Silver and Guard. You guys. You got caught in battle. That's right. Just go in. Just go in. You can do it. Once you finish with the Silver and Guard, you go for the Wardens as well. No, look at this. He's make, He's presenting himself. Kill him, kill him, kill him before he gets to her because he'll knock her out. Yeah, I think we've got him. I think we've got him. Yes. Right, back to the tasks at hand. There's a big grouping there that we could do with killing off. Ah, but we are losing out on this side. But we've got a large contingent of archers at the back that have yet to really been tested, to really be tested in the battle. Um, all of you now change up. Hit Vespa herself. You should be able to kill some of the archers around her, I would have thought. If you've run out of... If you have finished, rather, with your... Booze, then please charge into that silver and guard. Let's just on. Oh, let's just surround it. Kill everything we can. Kill everything we can. I think that's everything that we can. <laughs> There's nothing further that can be killed. Down they go. Now this time we've got a siege ram, so we should be able to just knock the city on the head this time, and not have to put up with again a muster of garrison forces. I really can't help but feel that that is not the way it should work. Not at all. If it's under siege, the garrison should not be able to grow. Oh, yes, it's finally ours. That sacking Leave the money is... Waste week. We're going to loot and occupy. We'll get at least 6,000 then. I know that it won't like us, but nowhere likes us, so what the hell. And we've finally got a proper port. We've encountered everyone that we want to encounter. There's a rebellion. He was executed. Vesper was killed. Public order for Eltharion. Prince Eltharion. Prince Eltharion. How far away are you from four? Oh, you're miles away. Absolutely miles away. Um, I quite like to train those because we've got the money for them now. So we'll get them on board because they seem quite good. So that gives us another infantry. And then we can take four more archers. Turning into that which I swore never to become. A stack spammer. Elvin Archmage, Master of Magic. They will. They are magic in purest form. Yes, we got the helm of arrest. We got twenty influence. Nice. Now, who actually took it? I'm hoping Itharian, of course. Yes, of course he did. Marvelous. Absolutely goddamn marvellous. Right, she can get the last quartermaster trait. Although, actually, I think Elven Healing would be better. Because she needs her army to replenish quickly. Because we've got to go back and deal with rebels now. Let's turn on his spread public order so that we... Oh, wow, this place really hates us. It, uh, it hates you, Jim. I'm not really interested in that, actually. But then now I suppose we can train something, can't we? A couple of units of Lothurn wouldn't go amiss. The city is crumbling. Ah, oh, we can get a nobles over here. He could do with a noble in his army, actually, couldn't he? We don't want one that's petrified, though. There must be a better one. Ah, oh, those are the only options. Well, 
that one will do. You have my attention. Standing by. Hello, friend. Yeah, chuck that mods that on yourself. Don't need you to take that. Maybe you've got some free armor. Let's go with the physical resistance one because you're likely to get into combat. I simply cannot. And I would very much like you to um, increase my trade. Out of the question. But then join with them. Oh, you can't, of course. Take away the archer. There we are. I will share my experience. He'll move over there in a turn. Kothic is ours. And we don't have an order one. It's very, it's always very annoying. How long until you will replenish? Four turns. And it hates us that much. That is crazy. Oh, it's only one turn. All right. And then it will only be minus 10. What's our garrison like over here? Mm, not all that great. We're going to need to move over. We're going to need to move over anyway because the Toranak army is definitely on its way to try and stop us. Safri, do you still like me or has, have conditions recently made you... Um... Oh yes, you like me. And not only that, but you really like me. Recent events involving Safri, treaties with Safari, war with Broken Axe, treaties with Eotain. Yes, it's like an Eotain, Safari, Ivress, Triple Entente. We will, will, we will rule them all. <laughs> Just out of interest, Safari, how much money are you likely going to want in order to confederate? Does that even get you at even moderate? No. No, it does not. What about a defensive alliance, though? How does that, how does that take your fancy? Never. No. They're not interested in that. I suppose at the moment because this is very low. But um, the last time I got that down to very low in the last cam in one of the campaigns I've played, it never recovered ever again. It was at very low for the rest of the game. Uh, so I'm a little cautious about that. But also I think I'm going to take away the public order one now because we get plus four and that gives plus three. So we don't need it. And the craftsman building is better value for money. Or the craftsman building rather gives more money. 200 it's third tier versus 120 so we'll take that away also correct me if i'm wrong um but public order doesn't actually do anything does it other than rebel so if i have a nation that's at minus 90 it doesn't mean that all of my money will be low or anything like that it kind of just means nothing avalon has declared war on me are you joking but avalon you don't even border me like you you're miles away love why so serious, son? Is it because we're traitors and you're guardians? Ah, yes, but Eotain has joined in. You've just signed your death warrant. Idiots. Idiots. Alariel the Everqueen. Alariel the Ever Ridiculous. <laughs> Much better title. Coined it myself. Oh, the enemy comes. We're going to need to get reinforcements down to the south somehow. We need peace in Ulthwan so that we can sail south. Although we've got enough money, really. We could train another lord now, couldn't we? Our strength is tested. If I attack, will they come in? Yes, they will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Norivres is once again under siege, but like before, we will show them. We will show them all. What folly they make of themselves. Perhaps we should do the invocation of all, actually. I don't really need any of the benefits, but if it gives me a nice piece of armor or something, that'd be good. Winged Staff, weapon strength plus 4%, bound spell, winged staff, causes damage to combatants, strong versus multiple combatants with a high chance they'll resist. We don't really want a Helm of Cain because we've got the uh, the Helm. Fire resistance and extra fire resistance. Plus 10% base missile damage for everyone around you. Oh, that's relatively good. Let's go for that. Joy is wanton. Oh, look, you can take a Dawnstone. And you can cast a spell. What will magic resistance? Why don't you take that one? No, we don't really want the scroll of leech. We don't really want any of those things, actually, do we? I will take the enchanted spyglass then from you. I'm going to have to attack those orcs, but that is likely going to be something that I reserve for a future episode. Ah, oh, Safari are coming through. I could also get the elven gardens, which increases entertainment, but entertainment is only that building. So it would only actually give us... At the end it gets 30%. Oh, we can't get it at the end because it's in that building. No, we don't want it there. And we don't really want any military here. It's not a place for military. Um, so this is just going to be a purely financial town. Which serves me well. 
suits me nicely. You are replenishing relatively slowly, but we must move. We can't wait. We've got Avalon coming now as well as Kothic. They're all after us. But as I say, that is going to be where I end this episode. And as I also say, I am unlikely to record any more episodes until I have seen any of the comments. Um, so I will probably stop there. So all four of these episodes have gone out at once. You can watch them at your leisure whenever you like. It's kind of like a live stream, but you didn't have to be there at the time. Uh, but um, I do hope you've enjoyed watching all of these videos. Do let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you would do in these situations. I'm very eager to know that. Um, I think it's going relatively all right. We're doing obviously much better in Ulth 1 and I'm fairly confident we're going to be able to eventually secure Confederation, but we've got to get our relations up. But otherwise it's going not too bad, I don't think. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of the campaign overall. And until we speak again, dear friends, Navair Naden Perimad Melunin and farewell.